family we have a busy video planned number one we're getting dinner number two we're lighting Diaz number three we're doing some Rangoli art which is gonna be not your typical Rangoli art but you'll see what we have planned it's pretty cool we are at a new Indian restaurant called Ashawad which is oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness bonkers good it's the number one rated Indian restaurant in Orlando we wanted to go somewhere fresh and exciting and new vibrant man are we glad that we did? It, the waitress even knows us. A couple of the people here knew us. God bless them. They were like, oh my goodness, it's you. Like, they've seen our channel and we're like, it's okay, we're normal people. And, uh, but they've been just such a blessing to us so far, been so kind to us. We've already ordered some food. We got some samosas on the table, some other stuff I don't even know the name of. Because they just said, bring us what's good. And we're going to have a, a feast. We even found some southern Indian food they have here. We're really excited to try that. We know that. A lot of our Southern Indian viewers, or viewers have been saying, gotta try Southern Indian food, and we never could find a place that makes it. Well, guess what this place does? It looks so killer. Did you guys try it? Yeah, it's oh. kind of watery. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of Ooh, so cool. is that good water, Caleb? Yeah. Authentic from India? <laughs> it's good. How is it, Katie? Did you try it? It smells, when they put it down on the table, I was shocked at how good it smelled. How are the samosas? <laughs> That's how good they are. Good, Katie? Yeah. Logie, good. What are you saying? The Buffalo Wild, it looks like something from Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah. I guess it kind of does. It smells it's exactly. really good. Did you try it? Yeah, I tried it. It's really it's good. It's spicy. It's spicy, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. One thing we're noticing here is there's no option for mild on a lot of their food, and we're good with that. We're going all in on the spice today. Uh, one of them is apparently gonna melt my face off. Huh? You made a face. Yeah, like well, the fish, I got a, 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 a regional dish from Kerala, um, pre a fish dish called prepared Kerala style. So uh, apparently it's gonna be ridiculously hot. Caleb's really excited about that one. <laughs> the master of faith. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, and then mommy, mommy had to get a, a gluten-free one, and they have a tikka masala. She was just gonna get chicken tikka, chicken tikka with no gravy, but they said we actually have one with gravy that that is is gluten-free. So she grabbed that. And then what else did we order? The hydro body dish, and then uh, obviously a chicken biryani. I gotta have some biryani, then a whole bunch of naan, and it's just great. We're so excited. Happy Diwali. Okie dokie, look at that. That deep red color lets me know my life's never gonna be the same. Apparently the hottest thing I've ever eaten. Here it is. I'll, I'll film my reaction. This is, what is this? This is the fish. Kerala fish. Okay, and then over here we have mom's tikka masala. Over here we have the Hydra body chicken. Some naan over there. Naan over here, naan everywhere. And then what is that, Katie? And they brought me some yogurt, thankfully. God bless them. I think they know that I can't quite handle this heat. How is it, guys? Good. Good? Really good? You like this place or Punjab more? This? It's, it's really, really good. What do you think? Very good. Their tikka masala is better here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. the, it is so well, flavorful. It's free, so. <laughs> Gotta love that. There's definitely a depth of flavor at this restaurant. Yeah, that's not that's at everybody. Layered. It's layered, yeah. I feel a little nervous. I don't know if I've ever had full India heat. Happy Gulam. It smells so spicy. Uh, Does it really? It's not that bad. And it's still delicious. Ooh, is, it, is, is it? Is it more? Does it smell more spicy than it is? Yeah. When you, and then when you eat it, it's not bad at all. No, it's great. I can handle hot stuff. He did the hot sauce challenge. Hot what am I thinking? Daisy wants to try biryani, and she's determined. <laughs> Hear you. Goodness gracious. Okay, ready? Let daddy help. Daddy help. Daddy do it. Ready? Okay. No. Is that good? 
It's a little warm. More please. I'm afraid that at some point she'll start crying. But she likes it. She wants it. Is Do it you good? like it? Is it good? Well, awesome. It is good. A little biryani eater. Want some water? There you go. Uh oh. Oh, are we finished our food and what did they bring us, Caleb? Lussie, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so good. Is it good? Oh, I tried it too. You like it? It kind of tastes like the one we made, right? It's like go It's a go-gurt? <laughs> it's, it's not in the squeezable pouch. It's in a... Huh? No, she brought you kids one, each one, because they're so good. She brought you all Lussies, delicious Lussies. That whole table's eating Lussies down there, drinking Lussies. She made them to go for the kids. It was so sweet of her to bring those. Totally successful meal, delicious, delicious meal. Topped off with a delicious, delicious dessert. Okay, we are home and we're gonna do our rangoli art and craft. We're not gonna do our rangolis on the ground, but we found an interesting way of letting the kids be able to do this as an art and craft project and they can actually keep it when they're done. So what we're gonna do is Katie's gonna show you the canvas that each of us has, a 12 by 12 canvas. Each kid has that. Each kid's gonna have a stencil that looks like this. All you do is lay the stencil over the top, put glue over the top, Lay down all of your sand in whatever color combination you are thinking, and then when you're done, you pull up the stencil, and guess what? You have a really cool rangoli that you can actually keep. And then when we're done, I'm gonna spray them with clear spray paint to actually preserve them permanently, and the kids will always have their 2020 rangoli. Isn't that cool? Good idea, right? There you go, art and craft for Diwali. What'll happen is that after it's dried, we will blow it off and all of the all of the parts that are not stuck to glue will go away and it will be nice and well defined. But I think Timmy's came out really cool. So awesome. Yeah. Now mommy. Wow. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, so our sand art came out really great and it's really cool that we can keep them. They're gonna dry in my office overnight. I can't show you really like the final product. What you saw was as close to the final product as you can see in this video. Tomorrow, once they're dried, we're gonna blow off the excess and then like I said, I'm gonna seal them with spray paint and then write uh, Diwali 2020 on them and we'll have a permanent way of commemorating. So cool. Isn't that cool? That's really good. That's yeah. really neat. We talked about doing the rangoli on the floor, but uh, this just seemed like something, you know, as parents you wanna kind of Keep the things your kids make. Now uh, it's time to go light up the Diaz. It is. We're gonna light the Diaz on the front porch, and we have the eight from last year. We bought uh, Katie bought the eight new ones. There you go, guys. How did you enjoy this Diwali? I guess it's the like the best one that we had. The, the best Diwali we've had? Yeah, because that, the other kind of years we didn't actually have any. Well, the first year we didn't do it. Second year we lit Diaz and ate some Indian food. This year we added a third thing, and I guess next year we gotta add another thing. Uh, this is just our little way of continuing to uh, be that multicultural family we are. You know, adopting from India has blessed us richly. It has broadened our horizons for sure, and having a lot of Indian viewers out there who continue to graciously walk us through what it means to adopt Indian culture into our family is pretty cool. For all of our Christian friends who are a little confused about us celebrating Diwali, because it is, you know, 
pretty much a, a religious holiday. It has religious roots. Uh, we do this because we worship Jesus, who, guess what? He just describes himself as light. So we remember Jesus on this day, and uh, we embrace the cultural part, not the religious part, just a short disclaimer. We mentioned that last year. In fact, last year we uh, we read some scripture, and uh, that's what this day means to us. It's how we celebrate it. Tell us what you thought of our art project, and let us know what you think we can improve on for next year. We love this holiday, and it's a it's just a cool part of our calendar. By the way, if you want to see our final Rangoli projects, follow us on Instagram. Well, follow them on Instagram. We love you, Zoo family. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.